Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're just having a look from the outside. It's a bit further up uh, the alleyway. So as you can see, that is the area that's going to be treated. So we're going to be putting uh, the cream on that wall there and treating that particular area. One tub should cover about 25 square meters. And uh, I think it should do that it doesn't look like so it's five yeah so it's about five by five so one tub should cover that complete area okay okay this is Neville Douglas it is the uh, I think it's the 18th <laughs> eight is it the 18th did it or the 17th 18. oh gosh all right this is <laughs> this is Neville Douglas it's the um, 18th of April 2014 uh, just nip back over to the subject property we're just having a look before I do the thermal imaging um, just got to check the temperature inside. There needs to be a 10 degree difference. So we've got 28% humidity, if you can see it there. And the temperature is 23.7. So I'm just going to nip outside and see if it's any different and do the thermal imaging. Obviously the window's open, so it's going to make a bit of a difference. Um, but we'll find out what temperature the brickwork is. Um, when we're outside so we're going to go outside and, and see what the temperature difference is ah there we go right so we've just nipped outside to look at what the temperature is it is well, surprisingly enough the humidity outside is 26 and it's 25 it's dropped down temperature is 24 so there's not going to be a 10 degree difference unfortunately um i should have asked him to close the window before i come but uh we'll we'll just see how it goes yeah we'll see how it goes that's right I'm back home I've got the digital the thermal camera and I've connected it to my computer let me just switch this light off as you can see there now I've got um, the image of the gable end and I'm just creating a report so that is the last bit but we're gonna go back because it was about 3 p.m. when we went before and uh, what I found was that it was a little bit light. The temperature there is about 31.7 degrees over that window, uh, over that wall. I asked the tenants to switch off the, um, to close the window and to turn the heating up so we can get a 10 degree difference uh, on, the, on the interior because it was, it was quite similar when we went around earlier on. So uh, they're going to heat it up. So I'm going to go back about six o'clock and just take an image from the outside, um, possible check on the inside again, check for temperature and uh, then compare it with the report that we've got now. So uh, that's hey, it actually. I went back to the property because I thought it was a little bit cooler. I don't know if you can see the mouse wandering around there, but if you look to the left hand side there, I don't know if you can see the mouse. You can see where the os areas are anyway, around the window. So you have the window there and then you've got the, sorry, I'll keep that level. You've got the, the bright orange areas there and you can also see where the roof line is. So if I use my finger, you can see there's a lot of heat coming through there as well. Having said that, that's not. It's because the sun's shining on this direction. So it's warmed up that roof there. You've got um, that area there, which is quite warm as get again, even though the sun's coming from sort of, it's coming from this direction. So you would think it has heated up that face and that corner's just missed it because of the angle of the sun at the moment. Um, you can see there that they've been using the extractor uh, so they must have had a shower and you can see the heat coming through there also down this side here you can see that it's it's warming up um, but on the inside we've got you know sort of damage around there to the decoration and damage around there to the decoration and above there as well so um, that's the area that's going to be treated so it'll be interesting to see what the um, thermal image is going to be once uh, this has been done and if you can't see it clearly enough, let me just zoom in a bit more. I think you should be able to see that, that, that those areas there are the ones where the water is penetrating the brickwork. I've also got a photograph of the um, type of brickwork that's there and it's quite porous. Um, it's, it's just one of these things where, um, you know, the, the building's been up since I think 1925, something like that. Um, and, and so it's been up for quite a while. Um, so therefore that the, the brickworks perishing also you know we went through the industrial era within um, Stoke-on-Trent um, and so we had acid rain which has attacked the face of some of this brickwork as well and uh, you know I think also 
when you look at the age of the building and the materials that were used, um, the technology wasn't there to uh, construct the materials um, or to compress the materials like the brick in the, in the same to the same standards. Um, and you know, if you look at the brickwork as well, there are quite a few impurities in the actual brick. If you go to the building, it's a nice building. Don't get me wrong, but the materials like what nearly hundred years old and um, you know it's been around for a while it's been outside it's getting weathered and so it's starting to let a bit of water in which is uh, it's a solid wall as well so it's not a cavity wall and so as a result of that um, finding that you're getting a bit of uh, water penetration um, I went back yesterday to the property to have a look about eight o'clock um, just to see if I could get a different thermal image and um, I have it's quite interesting I'll whiz the camera around so you can see you can see what I've uh, come up with now as you look there, I don't know if I'll get any closer, you'll be able to see that information. You can't, so I'll just describe it. That area there, which is highlighted and it's in red, I'll just shift this out of the way. Um, that area there, as you can see it on the screen, is the different temperature difference is 7.2 degrees difference between that area, that area there, and also those bright areas. Now, when you look at the inside of the property, the patterning on the wall where the water is going through is exactly where that is, that is there, and there, because that's where the ceiling line is. Um, sorry, the ceiling line is about there, so we've got water penetration there, um, and we have it there on the inside as well. And this is obviously in the uh, loft space. Um, so we've got water penetration going through there. I don't know if it's going to run down the face of the brickwork and go in the inside of the building, but it's quite interesting. So this one was when the brickwork, it, it's, it wasn't cold um, and it wasn't dark either, even though it looks like it was dark. It was just about eight o'clock in April. And so it does show that those areas there were still warm. I don't know if that's because that is the moisture which is in the brickwork, um, but that is definitely where the damage is happening on the inside of the property which has got the um, issues in regards to water penetration through the gable ends and um, the scaffolding has gone up so I'm going to whiz around now so we can see that there we go so the scaffolding is in place so it's just a matter of them coming to apply the cream I'm waiting to hear from the rep funnily enough um, because there is a testing kit that you can put onto the uh, wall so that uh, you can it's like basically a, a water a mini water stack test that you can put on the wall so i'm going to do that on the brickwork before we actually start to treat it hopefully if not i can use some of the brickwork lower down because obviously it's of, of the same sort of standard and then apply it up there and just to see um how the cream works so um watch this space that's it i am signing off it's the first of may believe it or not 1st of May 2014, uh, I've come back to the property again where we are, or I am looking at the issue in regards to water penetration through the brickwork. Um, I've been issued with a kit from a company called um, Storm Dry and uh, I'm not endorsing their products in any way. Um, I'm just looking at it from a, a landlord's point of view in that if I've got water penetrating into a property I need a solution which is going to work. Um, I've used their tanking system before and I found that very efficient and uh, it works and it does what it needs to do. Um, it's a Vandex tanking system that they use or a cementous, cementous slurry system which was used on the inside of the, this property on the ground floor. Now um, as you saw in the previous videos I've done um, therm thermetric um, testing um, just to see whether or not the to try and pick up where the water has gone into the brickwork upstairs obviously we're not showing you the outside again or we're not showing you the upstairs at the moment because I'm just using this camera off a tripod um, but if you go back to the other videos you can see uh, that I have used I have used a thermographic camera uh, I'm not qualified as a thermographer uh, my brother is he's, he teaches it so he's just gone through with me what to do I've gathered the information and he's going to analyze that and, and get that back to me having said that um, I captured images with that. Uh, looking at the brickwork now, we're going to put um, what's known as um, casting tubes on there to see how much water gets absorbed through the brickwork. 
and it'll give us an idea okay you might say well okay all brickwork is porous up to a certain extent unless you've got specialist bricks so that's what I'm going to be looking at to see how porous the brickwork is now then I'm going to apply some of the cream onto the wall because it is a cream which comes um, and then we're going to do the same test again over the area where I've applied the cream so this takes a while to cure so I'm going to come back in about a week it takes 24 hours to cure properly um, but I'm going to give it a bit of uh, time to bed in and then I'm going to come back and reapply the tubes and then do another test and see you know how fast the water absorbs into the brickwork um, now some of the benefits or non benefits of having brickwork which is porous is um, from, from my point of view in this particular property um, as we look at the compass you can see that let me just get a compass right you won't be able to see this necessarily but as we orientate the compass north is in that direction there over there the west is there the predominant weather is coming from the west so it's swirling around and as you can imagine it's hitting the wall on this face um, but it is also south is over there west is there so it's coming from a southwesterly um, direction hitting the wall here but it's also going to hit the gable end which is further up I haven't got the camera pointed higher because they've got the washing and things out anyway um, but the gable end up there is getting wet on the lower ground floor I've got a, a jip rock dry lined uh, a jip rock uh, walling system in place so that's created a cavity on the inside so the the kitchen is dry upstairs in the bathroom I uh, just uh, replastered so as a result of that the the plaster works getting wet and as a result of that it's getting water marked and everything else and if you're not careful because this is a cold wall you're gonna get mold forming on the wall as well so this is my way of trying to um, solve that problem there's a 25 to 30 year I think is it 20 25 to 30 year warranty uh, depending on how exposed the faces, um, the, the, the people that I spoke to within this company have said that um, the gentleman actually is named Brian. He's said that um, it should last for about 20 years. Um, sorry about the noise, it's a bit of a busy main road. On top of that, as well, it should last 20 years and also it should penetrate about 13 mil into the brickwork. It's breathable as well. And on top of that, as well, the treatments I've been looking into it, it's um, accredited by the Royal Institute of British Architects which is RIBA 